Hi everyone, Sarah back again today with a new layout for Color Cast Designs. Um, I also pulled Bay Valentine, Val Valentine, uh, her collection sketchbook, and I am using it. I am obsessed with this plaid or this checker, whatever you want to call it. It's an ombre. It's gorgeous. I love it. Um, but I am going to make sure that I use that on this layout. As you see, I'm trying to figure out which way I'm going to use it because I'm only use part of it on this layout. And then I decided I wanted, um, you know, like a kind of more of a solid color between it and my white background, which that changes right here. I decide not to go with a white background either. Um, but I do change things. I know that I'm going to be scrapbooking these two pictures of my daughters. We had been at the lake all day. We had had so much fun. I also changed the purple for this blue. Um, but we had been at the lake all day and had a blast. And on the way home, they just crashed. They both just went to sleep in the car. Um, and so I just kind of had music on and, you know, just did the drive. Here I messed up and forgot which side I was going to use or changed my mind on which side I wanted down on the layout itself. So I'm going to read back <laughs> where I had the tape on them until I figure out exactly what I want to do. Um, so I'm going to add adhesive to this side and I'm going to I took it off my desk to do the roughing up of the edges because it leaves so many little pieces everywhere, the little fuzzies from the paper. Um, so I did that to the pink and the checkered piece, and I'm going to go ahead and stick those down. I'm going to grab my pencil. I am marking on the paper itself, but I'm going to grab my pencil and go underneath so that I can go ahead and just add tape to my layout, and then I'll put it back where I wanted it. That way I can just cut it off by scissors and have the rest of it left over if that makes sense. I mess up so many times when I'm scrapbooking. I don't always leave it in, but yeah, I, I mess up a lot. <laughs> um, I went ahead and trimmed this off. I am going to go ahead and grab my um, trimmer here and cut it and make sure it's straight, and then I'll straighten this out as well. Um, but that leaves me with the other piece left over for another layout later on, you know, so I'm glad that I have that. But I just really love these these colors and the patterns on these. And that cute little memo one um, that's above that picture there. Um, I'm going to use that for my journaling about our day and everything. I will trim it down. But I'm making my daughter's picture a, um, you know, just a place, a pocket. If, you know, words. I cannot always get them. I don't understand what it is. And it's usually, I mean, I'm not going to say I don't do it in normal everyday life. But when, because I totally do. But um, definitely when I'm filming, I forget words or farble all over myself all the time. I just don't get it. Um, tons of ephemera. Uh, I bought quite a bit of this collection and I love it. Um, the only thing, I, I am not huge on the clear stickers. And I did not realize that the sticker book had so many clear stickers in it. That's on me. Um, I will figure out a way to use them. But I don't know. I don't know what my deal is. I do have to say I like the fact that these are quite thick. Um, the clear stickers in this one are. So I will figure out how to use them. Um, but that lazy summer day is the title I'm using from Colorcast. I love it. I love the color. It's perfect for this layout. And I mean, I get it. The day may not have been fully lazy. But they are definitely lazy in it up right here. They slept the entire ride home, like I said, and I got to listen to a bunch of music, and so I'm okay with that. Um, I'm going to try to figure out what I want to use for ephemera, so I'm kind of just digging through trying to figure out what I want to use, and of course, I'm going to use a bunch of flowers, because why not? It may not have anything to do with flowers, but I'm going to use them anyways, so <laughs> that's what I'm doing here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start tucking things here and there, trying to figure out what I want. I mean, I will move things back and forth off and on, like, while I'm doing a layout. That's why I wait to stick things down. But those three are all going to stay in the same spot, but I'll add some more here in a minute. Um, I do grab one of the clear stickers. I'm going to go ahead and grab one off of this sheet and put it down right here. I wanted to lift the edge up there, so I did. And it's purple. It's cute. And I was expecting it to be flimsy because a lot of clear stickers are flimsy. It was not. So I do like that. Um, I'm going to rough the edges up of this. I had put the pink one down there but decided against that little pink label. And I added this yellow one instead. 
um, I'm roughing up the edges of my florals and I'm sticking a little glue in the center and then sticking them down. That's kind of just my norm of what I do anyways. I always stick it to like one edge or something and I don't glue everything down completely flat. Um, here's when I realize it's a little tight so I'm going to have to trim that little memo card down. Um, so that's what I'm doing here but I get it to where it goes in so it works. Um, I'm going to add some glue to this because I don't want to pick it up and move it. I kind of hate that I wasted that part of the frame but it is what it is. It's already down. Can't change it. Um, and then I'm going to grab some 3D foam from my stash here in just a second. Oh, I already put it on the back of the photo. Okay, yeah, I'm just going to glue that down. I just wanted a little dimension, um, and I'm going to glue this little tag down. And I do find another sticker. I think it's off the 12 by 12 or the 6 by 12 sticker sheet here in a minute um, that I will use. And I went ahead and glued down my title. And I wanted something else over here on the right. I felt like it was too bare. Um... But since I had taped that down so close to the edge, I kind of play with it a little bit to get things where I want them. Um, so right now I'm trying to figure out if I'm going to go ahead and grab something else from the 12 by 12 sheet or just the ephemera. And so I'm going ahead and sticking the florals down and then I'm going to grab a few more from that pile up there. I wasn't sure. I, I really, really, really like that cute little bird that was in that, but I don't use it. Um... And I figured since I used the yellow or the orange and the purple over on the left hand side, I figured, you know what, I'm going to use orange and purple over here too. So I went ahead and grabbed those. I'm going to rough up the edges and add the glue to the center of both of those and uh, make that cluster a little bit bigger and add my ends or my leafies there. I keep going back. I want to use more. <laughs> And I choose not to. I choose not to use like everything on the layout. But this is the first time I've used this collection and I just want to use it all. Um, but I'm going to add some black splatters. And with this metallic stuff, uh, watercolor, it doesn't turn out like black black. It's really shiny and it's cute. Um, I just feel figured it kind of finished my layout for me. I like the way it looks and that finishes this layout. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please remember to like and subscribe. And come back again and see what else I make. Um, links will be below for ColorCast and all the beautiful things. Thank you so much. Bye!